All right, so welcome everyone. I'm Rajneesh Gupta and with me, Jamin Patak is here. And this is the mock interview series. And uh, yeah, so as, as simple as that, we are going to do the mock interview. Uh, I'll be the candidate and uh, candidate and Jamin will be the interviewer. So uh, he will ask me certain questions and I'll answer him. Based on my question, he might ask some counter questions as well. Okay, so let's get started. All right, Jamin, how are you? Hello, Rajneesh. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you so much. So my first question is, what is the difference between threat, vulnerability, and risk? Well, uh, uh, threat is basically a probability of loss. It's a, it's a, a, a or I would say it's a potential danger or uh, any kind of uh, any kind of effect or action that could cause uh, any any harm or danger to the network so from the infrastructure or from the organization point of view it can be like denial of service attack ransomware attack any attacking group uh, you know cyber criminal hacktivist these are all uh, these are all threat right when we talk about the vulnerability, this is something which is with us. Threat is, uh, it's not with us, okay? Uh, or in some cases, it's possible as well when you consider insider threat. So that technically, the insider threat resides inside the organization itself. Um, and But when we talk about vulnerability, it's like a weakness or security hole or security gaps in our system, in our maybe in our application, maybe in our, um, you know, in uh, or maybe in our people as well. Okay, so it's a it's a weakness which is not been uh, uh, fixed or a weakness that can be exploited. It's actually a vulnerability. Okay, uh, so like we in the application we have the vulnerabilities like. Uh, you know, a code injection attack, cross-set scripting attack. These are all a vulnerability in the web application. When I also talked about the humans, so humans are also vulnerable to certain situation like scarcity or authority kind of a situation. That that's how the phishing attack is possible, right? Uh, now, risk is basically it's it's a it's a it's a you know. Risk is calculated in a way. It's a likelihood situation that uh, what's the probability that this will happen, okay? And uh, this threat will be possible, okay? So that's basically the risk. And risk is calculated based on the threat and the vulnerability. Or in a very technical sense, uh, risk is the prob uh, likelihood of the attack and the impact of the threat, okay? So based on this formula, the risk is actually calculated. So in the in the uh, in the large organization, in fact, in most of the organization, the security solution or controls are actually deployed after uh, after doing the risk assessment or risk analysis or risk calculation. So yeah. Okay, uh, great explanation. Uh -huh. So we just talked about uh, threat, uh, vulnerability, and risk. Uh, so Rajesh, can you tell me which one can you control? Well, I mean, uh, uh, um, as we, uh, as I just talked about all of uh, all three, uh, threat is something which is not in our control, right? We, you can't control uh, cyclone, right? You can't control hurricane. Uh, you know, you, this is not under your control, right? So threat is definitely not in our control. What we can only control is the vulnerability. We can keep, uh, you know, patching the vulnerability probably every other day, or uh, you know, or maybe looking at the priority vulnerability because even you know, fixing all the vulnerability every day is not possible. In the large organization, they have hundreds of applications that might have thousands of vulnerabilities. So, patching all the vulnerabilities doesn't make sense. So we'll have to prioritize the vulnerability based on their CVS's score, and then they can start working on it. So yes, vulnerability is can be controlled. Um, at the end, you said risk. So yes, risk can be controlled as well. So uh, there are multiple ways of risk mitigation. You can digest the risk. 
you can transfer the risk and uh, yeah so uh, risk is completely under control so threat we can't control and uh, vulnerability and risk can be controlled as well so yeah okay so yeah this is all i have for today's uh, question on threat vulnerability and risk all right thank you so much um, all right so let's get started guys let me give you some detailed explanation on this and we'll do this is going to be very interesting uh we'll, we are going to do a risk assessment light this is the way risk assessment is done it, this is not really the accurate way or uh, most effective way but this will give you a basic idea how the risk is calculated okay so let's get started uh, so what happened is i told you about right how the risk is calculated so the risk is basically likelihood likelihood and uh, likelihood of the attack and the impact on the network impact of the asset so based on this based on this the risk is calculated it could be high moderate or low okay so first of all it start with threat and of course uh, uh, although in the table you see starting with threat but usually in the organization they also add asset as well okay um, one more table called asset where which talks about what asset we are talking about so every asset you know every asset has their has their own priority uh, importance as well like if i talk about web application not all web server in my company will be having high uh, priority because some web server would be storing would be storing the customer data right so that's very very important for me so that would be high priority asset but some web server might be just storing the uh, uh, dump file logs backup and all those stuff that might be of moderate priority web server okay so based on that the risk assessment usually start but we'll start with the threat in our case okay so let's imagine a situation we have unauthorized access to the server uh, you know into the network so that's that's where uh, or maybe uh, or uh, maybe any situation right so uh, you can talk about unauthorized access that's the unauthorized access to the servers right so this is where you are talking about the confidentiality and uh, you know uh, you have a thread that you 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 know sensitive data that consists of sensitive data of your network like crm customer relationship data uh, you know partner information and everything now what's the vulnerability we have the vulnerability is uh, there is an open access this this server okay we are talking about a server now the server the vulnerability is the server is currently in the in the internet facing network and we don't have a lot of security control that we'll talk about it later but currently it's open access currently we don't have any security control it's open access right now the mitigation can be to perform uh, to have a better detection or monitoring solutions to monitor everything happening into the network to deploy any kind of a, a WAF, web application firewall but in, before we do that we'll have to calculate the risk right uh, whether we should really mitigate it or not whether whether this is really a risk which is worth solving okay so likelihood is like uh, how what are the probability that this would the threat will occur okay so likelihood is calculated based on you know your past incident if it happened in the past or if it it happened very often in your industry or it, it it happened very often in in the region that you are operating at this moment so based on this you can say okay it's moderate okay it's moderate i'm not saying high just for example right so for every organization has the can have their own number uh impact so what would be the impact let's say if the attacker get the access to the file what would happen 
they can get the access uh, get they can get the customer data and they can sell it to the your competitor and they can um, win a lot they can make a lot of business and you may be out of business right so that's a problem so the impact is definitely high very very high so what would be the uh, you know what would be the final uh, risk then so the final risk will be calculated by likelihood and the impact okay so moderate into high will be moderate right moderate into high will be moderate or some organization also give certain numbers right so they they also give certain number out of 1 to 5 so you can say maybe it's uh, you know 3 or high maybe as 5 so um, as a multiplication you come up with a new number so based on that number you create a heat map so some organization uh, create a heat map as well based on this number and risk assessment so i can say it's moderate okay if both are high it's gonna be high so that's that's how it's calculated now let's talk about certain uh some asset or some threat which is not uh security related maybe hurricane okay you say we have hurricane as a threat right so what's the vulnerability that we have so vulnerability is when the hurricane happen, the the power outage occurs in in the area, right? So that's a vulnerability, right? So we can say power power outage. This is our vulnerability, right? So the mitigation could be that we we can install a backup power generator, right? This is the mitigation solution. Let's understand the uh, likelihood. How often do you do do you uh, you you encounter hurricane in your area? Once in a year, once in four years, once in every month. So based on this, the the likelihood will be calculated. So let's say you say once in a year, right? So you can say it's moderate. Okay. Next, you calculate the impact. So if the hurricane occur what is the overall impact you you have a power outage on those situation and some of the servers will not be available right so this is the uh, the mitigation might be there or mitigation might not be there so we talked about the mitigation right some of the mitigation control would be there some of them might not be there so considering that factor you can even decide how to add more controls as well so that's completely uh, changeable uh, the impact you can say it's low, right? So because when such thing happen, uh, we have some controls available, but we do see some outage for a minute or so. So you can say low or you can say moderate as well. So based on that, the actual risk will be calculated. It could be low. If both are moderate, it could be it will be moderate. If any one of them is high, then it will be moderate. But if both of them are high, then it will be high. Okay, so this is how the risk assessment is done. I just took an example. You can took you can take a look at any possible example yourself and start doing the risk assessment. Okay, um, let me know if you have any question, and uh, I, we would be really happy to answer that. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please, please do subscribe the channel. Press the bell icon so that the moment we create a new video, you get it. Uh, you know, as quickly as possible. All right. So this is me, Rajneesh Gupta with Jemin Patak signing off.